Hello and welcome back to the last spell. We are mere two nights away. Well, one night away, I guess. From the dreaded uh, end of Glenwald. And I am dreading it. So, <laughs> I know, I know, right? Very good, very good. Um, it's not much more to say. Let's do it. Wait, production phase is about to end. Free ability. No, that's that health ability. We don't really need that. Wait, did I use my... Oh, I didn't use my second mana well. I built it, but I didn't use it. They didn't tell me about it. Well, they, they, I'm sure they tried. Whatever. It's fine. We're fine. Okay, we've got crawlers. That's kind of a problem. Gl very good placement of traps over there. We probably should build some catapults. I was going to build some walls around our last spell, but I think I want to wait on that until I know I want to do that. Okay, so we've got a boomer over there. Um, kind of thinking, can we, can we move over here and then do something? Can we, can we, okay, we can hit this guy. Why would I want to hit this guy with the poison first? Is because, I'll tell you why. Um, because now that they're poisoned, I'm pretty sure we have a chance to stun every time now. And stunning them would be really good. I will say it's it's looking pretty tame around he over here for now. So let's see if we can't do some stun. Yeah, we stunned the boomer. Nice. Um... I actually think that just like hitting them wouldn't be a terrible idea. We'll leave them for now. I actually think they'll be more useful in the next turn because they're stunned. We'll let the we'll let people group up around them. And actually that trap might take them out. We'll see. It could be it could be very good. Uh wouldn't mind poisoning that back row though. Nice. That was good. Good, good stuff. Okay, uh, over here. We've only got the one dude over here, so I'm a little bit worried for them. Um, we've got a good setup for the spear, though, I will say. This is, this is good. This is good. Um, I'm just worried. There was a bunch of crawlers, right? Where were the crawlers? Was it just over here? Where were they? Is this... I don't know. They, they, I saw a bunch of crawlers come in, but I can't remember from where. Okay, let's do this. That that helps. Um, what I'd like to do, we're going to move up. And um, I'd like to... Oh, God, we can't reach that guy, can we? There's a boomer in the back that I really want to take care of. We've got some really cool new music. Um, I do really want to take out this guardian. Okay, that was actually worthwhile. That was actually really good. Wouldn't mind moving up. We have nine movements, so we could move like three away and then five back and then see if we can do like a really strong hit with rush. Momentum plus 25%. Yeah, we definitely want to do a rush. Nice. Um, and I'm going to do... We'll, we'll do a Hammer of Faith. Let's see if this helps. Yes. We managed to stun the Boomer. And that's actually ideal. Because they're almost dead. They have five health left. So they'll be uh, the most useful. Okay, so that's looking really good as well. Um, let's see if we can continue this trend of things looking kind of good. Uh, there's definitely a bunch of stuff over there. I wouldn't mind having our... Wow, his range is really good. I seem to... I thought that the hand crossbow was, like, not great. But, like, I can't complain. That, that, uh, range is really good. We did miss that guy twice, though three times now okay you, you, you gotta forgive me for for going a little bit hard 
on trying to hit that guy because he was eluding me. Oh, that just doesn't do as much damage as you would hope. Okay, um, we're definitely going to want to move our crossbow person up towards here because we've got some good targets here, starting with that and that. And out of range. Okay, one more forward. Miss! Miss! I, I sound like someone trying to get like, a waitress's a attention. That's probably in bad taste. Ugh, miss. Really? Really miss? Okay, how about this? Okay, that, that was a bit better. Okay, let's move you over here because they're going to be moving forward. Um, and... Our archer over here, I think they've got a pretty good rain of arrows. That's a great rain of arrows. Amazing. Fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, this is hope I'm feeling again. Uh, we'll let that one dude live. Let, let them tell the tale of, of the others, you know, to the others. Let's move our other guy back. We'll sw swap. And that way we can give them more movement because I actually think bringing them back God, there's a lot of things in our way isn't there. Let's kill this barrier It's just like a hundred percent in our way then we'll give ourselves some more movement and um, We can like We can we can leave them there. It sucks that we can't make use of their full turn, but that's fine I don't know. Oh, I guess I can't move over slightly. That's fine. Okay, a good a good first turn. I think it shows promise. Uh, a couple boomers over there. There we go. There's that boomer dying to the trap. I'm surprised they didn't kill anyone. There's another boomer dying over there. Ouch. It did take a little bit of damage. Oh god, okay. Uh, I think our archer over here is going to be okay. That's a great rain of arrows there. That's just ideal. Um, let's see if we can't do some power shots. Actually, let's uh, let's do a tight volley first. Oh, this is a great tight volley. And that uh, apparently reduces their movement as well. Which is great. Plus 30 damage. I wonder why that is. Well, we reduced their, their movement, so they'll be fine. And this guy might actually provide useful. I'm starting to realize that um, you can use the boomers to great effect. Now, what do we want to do here? Well, first of all, we can just kill this guy. I'm, I'm noticing on the right side there that it shows us, like, our potential damage. Oh, wow. There was, like, such a small chance of us not being... Not actually killing that guy. So that kind of sucks. But it's fine. Um, what we would like to do is split up a couple of these lads. So let's do, like, that, 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 and that. And um, let's dedicate like one more to this guy. Uh, I guessed wrong, actually. Okay, now what I want to do is um, hit this guy hard over here. Probably should have done this first now that I think about it. Okay, now we have free rate. Oh my god. These guys have 36% dodge. That's a real problem. Because, like, goddamn, they are, are they are really hard to hit with my archer. There's a great shot with the uh, firebolt. Um, kind of want to move over here and try and kill this guy 
Nice. And that killed... Oh, it didn't kill the other guy, but it did some damage, and that's good enough for me. Okay, well, I... I feel like we're okay over there. Could could we be better? Sure. But I think we're okay. We could be better over here as well, but we're still okay. Over here, though, um, this is... I, I, think, I think we're all right here. I think I divided up my heroes kind of perfectly for once. Let's start by doing a triple strike or whatever it is triple swipe and then i'm gonna hit this guy a little bit hard nice what i'd like to do <sighs> hmm. let's just uh, like do a hammer of faith perfect I really didn't expect that to kill him, but I'm glad it did. Okay, this is actually a very good setup. Um, I'm going to let this crawler move around because I'm pretty sure that they're just going to die to ballistas. Uh, we have some good poison opportunity in the back there. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to reach, but we can reach it. Just like hit it again. Good enough. And we have a couple of extra attacks. We can just like hit this guy because he's probably well. Uh, again, I made the mistake of not giving him the cont contagion first. It's just it does it does make a huge difference. Every time I make that mistake, it's a dumb mistake. Okay, let's uh, move up hit these guys with some poison that's there we go that's good and actually why don't we just go ahead and hit those guys in the back there as well i'm feeling optimistic um we could like do a rain of arrows somewhere maybe that's actually not bad because it hits the crawler no we missed the crawler okay let's just move back I'm content with what we've done. Could we do better? Sure. But I'm content. Uh, we definitely want to move them, them back. I, uh, never mind. They've got the extra armor there. We could quick reload. We don't have any... Uh, why don't we just move forward and kill them with the bash? There we go. And we still get to keep the armor. Perfect. I'm a little bit worried about over this. Oh, what is that? Elite Guardian. Oh my god. Ballistas are not really doing very good work over there. Okay, that's some bad damage we just took. Florian just took some really nasty damage. We cannot play games with him anymore. Um, okay, we I see a very good split up here. Do we have... I wonder if this guy has opportunism. I kind of want to just do like a laser beam here. That's not bad, but now we've killed someone. So now, you know, we've got to be a bit more conservative. Uh, yeah, let's, I'm just trying to split up the boomer. Unfortunately, there's still a dude behind him. That boomer was really like connected to everyone. Yeah, I'm going to do all three because and, and that was the right move because he had armor and I was going to miss and it was a problem. Um, I'm going to focus. Actually, let's do like a f explosive bolt right here. This is a good one. Perfect. And the explosive bolt seems to cut through. I don't know if it's undodgeable, but it it seems to hit people with high dodge more easily. And I want to move away so I get the full lone wolf bonus and then hit this guy hard oh didn't quite kill him i'm wondering if it was if it's worth using an impaling bolt but i don't think so 
Unless I can kill that other guy right there. Kind of want to do... Let's let's do a reload. I gave it to him and then I haven't been using it. So let's like try and kill that guy and then that guy. Per... Well, not quite perfect, but not bad. And now an impaling bolt is actually like viable. Eh, it's only going to hit two. But I guess two is worth it. Stay dead this time. And actually, I think we could do another impaling bolt here. Oh, except that other dude had a ally next to him. Shoot. That's fine. That was a really productive turn for them. Now, I am... Uh, I probably shouldn't have gone so hard on that side because there is a lot of stuff over here to, to hit. Including this one boomer. So I'm a little bit worried. There's a good rain of arrows here. I kind of want to hit this one boomer here. Oh, it's going to take two power shots, isn't it? Okay, but that killed a lot of extra dudes. Um, this boomer here might get to shoot their shot, unfortunately. I don't think I can take them out in time. I can try for sure. Actually, wait, they, yeah, they still have the negative movement points. So hitting them with tight volley isn't going to actually make any difference. I feel like we have 500 or they have 514 health and we have three shots that are going to do 90 damage. There's absolutely no reason to try and do anything to them, to be honest. Uh, this guardian though. Oh god, and they have plus 400 health. I might need to bring our crossbow person back over. I mean, that I, that's why I put them on the corner, so that they could, uh, you know, help on both sides. Let's try and re reduce these guys' movement. And I'll hit this guy. Wow, that's, that's like nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look over here. Over here is looking really good. I'm, you know, I, I was kind of complaining about the zone, but honestly, the trees, you can use them. You can use them to great benefit. Because it's just as much of a pain in the butt for the enemy as it is for you. Um, I'm seeing a good lineup here, maybe. No, that, that looked like a good lineup, but it actually wasn't. But, uh... Let's see if we can't do some more stuff here. I... Uh, I'm a little bit worried about these crawlers. Can we reach anything here? We kind of can, but eh, it's not really meaningful. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and entangle this group over there. That'll actually build our opportunism, as if that matters much. And what I really want to do is make sure that these crawlers are at least poisoned. Because like I say, oh wow, they're dead. Cool. Let's just keep him over there for, for now. Her, I suppose. Now, this uh, business over here uh, is not looking great. Because we took a ton of damage. We, we have some great stuff with the spear. But I have to make sure that it, like I just stay keep them alive. Okay, not bad. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, we may as well use this potion. Try this again. Not bad. Could be better. And let's, like, back them way up. Uh, who's left? Joanna. Joanna, you have t stuff to do. I guess you may as well kill that guy. Especially if you're going to miss like that. I guess since I've like given them this stuff, it's I haven't been using it. Um, we could do some damage to ourselves and try and do like a decent hammer of faith over there. May as well. Why not? Actually, we have potential with. Ah, actually, that's a really good rain of arrows. Heck yeah! Missed two enemies. You know what? We still have stuff to do. Let's go ahead and. 
get over there and do a hammer of faith. Nice. We still missed. Wow, your accuracy is bad. Hey, okay, crawlers coming in on the left side there. Those traps are really, really effective. I forgot about the ballistas. There was a good reason to hit that guy. Now he's going to get to blow those walls up for free when, you know, all I had to do is hit him like once. Yeah, that's a lot of damage he got to do for for completely un, you know, needlessly. We we I just threw that away. Um, let's take care of this side first. Um, it's it's looking a little bit spicy. Let's do a hammer. Does this have momentum or anything? No, it's just propagation. That's fine. And st that's beautiful. Actually, let's do that again because there's one dude here that. Uh, wait, no, we have a better. I have a better idea. Let's. Let's contagion this guy. And then I can kill him. And the contagion will spread the stun. Look at that. It's like I'm actually learning how to play this game properly. Then I can do a hammer faith back there. That's not bad. This whole section over here is choked pretty good. Um, then, well, let's be smart for once and throw a couple contagions. I guess we only had the one left. But I want to... Um, Oh, that was dumb. Why did I do that? I wanted to poison, not not to attack. Uh, well, their movement is lower. I, uh, is it really worth? I guess so. And he's not going to die. And that's actually good because then they're slowed down. They'll choke up this area. They'll make they'll back up a bunch of enemies and then they'll explode and kill a bunch of stuff and it'll just be a, an easy free kill. So that section is pretty good now. Um, how's this side looking? I think it's looking OK. Let's do another triple swipe. Move up a little bit closer. Uh, I don't know what I like more. I guess this is okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. And actually, then we can do a flurry of strikes and take out all of these guys. Cool. Back them up, and I'll even brace them just to make sure they're okay. Now, we do want to move our... Oh, the crossbow person is actually kind of close to some danger. Um... Now, this is, uh, this is going to be tricky, I won't lie. Because, like, there's a lot of stuff kind of in the way. I do want to... Hmm. I kind of just want to have our hand crossbow person, like, take care of stuff over here. Let's just, like, initiate on this boomer over here because that way we get the full use of our initiation and that didn't kill that lad that sucks okay um that's that's all right and then we can we poison this guy yep nice Actually, we have one more cool thing we could do here. We could do a nice laser. Oh, that's a really good laser beam. Nice. And actually, we still have a bash. Yes. Like, that was, like, one of the most effective. You get two bashes per turn? That's kind of wild, actually. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this elite crawler, but I actually think that we should run over here and try and hit this guardian, because I think that... Our bow person over here has less ability to take them out. They have a great ability right now to split them up. It would have been nice if that this guy had died, but I didn't expect them to, honestly, so...
they did have their uh block increased and this is one of the problems this elite guardian is is going to cause for us oh no i just realized that i they can't reach him because of the stupid lamppost it's fine we can do a little bit of damage actually do we have oh we have a movement potion why don't we go and run over and give them that movement potion and then we'll move them forward and now they can reach them oh god okay we're not doing that again i was like i'll just take care of that one little crawler there not not a trivial problem to to solve actually uh god damn all right can we hit them from there no okay all right it's fine all right so this is, a, this is pretty good i'm i'm happy with what i'm seeing the poison's great especially with the stun because it, it propagates the stun and i'm pretty sure that stun carries over slightly We did take a little bit of damage and actually someone is through the wall right now Who's who's getting through the wall? Ugh. Okay, never mind. I don't know. I don't understand the indication on the city panic sometimes This is a great use of triple swipe maybe eh, It's not bad and it didn't even kill them. So our spear person like absolutely blasted through their mana. So uh, worth considering that maybe they need more mana. Um, we're going to have to split up that guardian again. So let's go ahead and, and try and do that. Uh, this rain of arrows is not great. So honestly, it might not be worth it. Let's just like use normal arrows. Oh God, that was kind of brutal. All right, that's fine. Um, let's assess how things are after I've killed this guardian. Not bad. They've lost their lone wolf benefit completely, which is worth mentioning. So I should actually move this guy back over. You're too, too close. You're, you're too close. All right. I'll take three with the rain of arrows. Not bad. Kill this one last dude. And then move back over. They at least get some of the lone wolf damage. All right, and now we're good on this side. I'm going to move them back over here. And actually, let's move them like here because we might actually be able to hit something. Kind of want to just like hit this. Uh, okay, well, we can separate Big Lad. It's a shame because initiation means that we're actually incentivized to just attack the beefiest thing on the screen because we know for sure we can't kill them and so we're gonna do the most damage like they they have the most potential but if they can kill some small lads they should try because then the crossbow person is gonna have the most like damage overall Uh, and we actually can't reach anyone. Oh, can we move this guy? Oh, God damn it. We can't move him. Uh, cause, oh, you know what? Right there. That's good. Nice. This is an elite claw, so they can actually do some pretty nasty damage. It would have been really good to kill them, but no, uh, we can't have everything. Okay, over here. Let's go ahead and uh, 
start with a hammer of faith. That was a really good hammer of faith. And this guy's stunned with contagion, so that means we can kill them and spread that stun. It didn't spread in the way I wanted to, but that's okay. Do another hammer of faith. We did we still did not stun this one guy, so we're just gonna go ahead and kill them. They are a guardian, so it makes sense that they are a little bit chunkier. Um, I just want to like hit this in the back, the, the, the enemies in the back here. Not bad. Hit that. I don't think that boomer got like poisoned at all is the problem. How's their movement? Their movement is pretty, pretty downgraded. Can we hit them? Yeah, we can. We can hit them with our basic attack. With the opportunism, we should hit them pretty hard. We actually managed to kill them, which is great. We can move back. Good stuff. We'll, hit, we'll throw our contagion around. I guess there's no point in that last one. That's fine. Nice. Boomer dead. A few more lads. We have 37 more things to kill. That guy's dead. Nice. One dude left. So the bow person can come over here and, and do some damage over there. I'm a little bit worried. They uh, our, our hand crossbow person just like ate their armor. No, okay. No, we're fine. We're fine. I thought that maybe um, they were going to eat shit in a, in, a, in a matter of minutes. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and kill these two guys. I ordered that wrong, didn't I? Okay, and now we can just like, you know, eat, kill this guy. Wow, that was good. Kill this guy. I'm on a roll. You sure are. We're at maximum 60% 60, 60 damage with our isolation. Um, so things are looking really good over there. Uh, I don't know. We could we could maybe do some stuff over here. I don't know if we should, though. I'm, t I'm, I'm talking specifically with our spearmen. I think it would just be a good idea to, like, finish, finish things up with our druid. Well, we missed the those those uh, hunters are really good at not dying. Honestly, let's just like do some damage. Yeah, this guy's got thirty percent dodge. It makes percent. It makes sense that he will be missed a lot. We did manage to stun him though. Let's just like hit stuff. No, no, apparently let's not hit stuff. Uh, honestly, might. Oh, we should have another teleporter like here. Kind of want to like, let's just like head over. It does kind of, it does spend mana though, is the only thing. There's actually no teleporter over there either. So that's worth mentioning. Let's just, let's just end the turn. What? Oh, okay. I thought that it was the big guy uh, hurting him, but it wasn't. Just going to like move back and forward, build up that momentum. Wow, and we missed the last one. So let's just hammer faith this. And we missed as well again. Can we kill him with the last one? No, we missed. Okay. I mean, it makes, like I say, it makes sense. Um, can we kill these two lads? Our accuracy on like all of our heroes is not great. I won't lie. It's possibly my weakest asset. Kind of just want to let the ballistas do the work, to be honest. Like, I'll move our spear guy over here, but I, I like, I really don't want to... 
I, I don't wanna. This is just this one dude over here that is managing to evade all of my attacks. Miss. Nice. Please, please die. There we go. Excellent. I'm covered in blood. Really? It's over? Uh, S. Okay, we got an S for our heroes. No one's gonna reach level 12, which is surprising. We got level, we got S for, um, protection as well. Okay. Okay, this next night is, uh, concerning. I'm pretty sure this next night is the last night. Uh, okay, let's start by salvaging these things for items, uh, for, for materials, actually. Uh, we're definitely going to want our full mana. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to restore mana. And we'll also dedicate a worker for this for more mana. And I don't think we should need anything else. I'm think I was thinking maybe we could throw a bit of money to get that a little bit of extra mana, but I don't think we need it. I'm, I'm I hope I don't eat those words. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and oh, four workers unavailable when the mist is already at the maximum possible distance. Okay, so let's do guess where. Oh, uh, that's that's really kind of not helpful, is it? Almost wish I could have get that worker back, honestly. Okay, um, let's grab our items. We've got a steel helm with momentum, block, movement, good stuff. Um, oh, this one gives you moment gives movement, moment, momentum, and action points. So that's just really good. They're pants. I know they're pants. Movement, reliability, and isolation. That should be good for our archer or crossbow person. Um, these, I mean, I guess the fur pants are pretty good. Yeah, and I mean, this, uh, I think this blacksmith has been kind of a waste of time. I'll take something, but um, I don't think I'm actually going to use it. The good news, I mean, like, I don't have to spend any gold on building anything. I don't think. I don't think there's anything I could build save for maybe a scavenger camp. Because the thing is, actually, that's not a bad idea. Because the thing is, like, if I upgrade it fully, then I can throw six workers at materials. And I think that that would be a good idea. Wait, isn't someone hurt? Yeah, okay, hold on. Before we do that, uh, we're going to throw some money at this. How much health do they need? Quite a bit. Let's throw some money at this. And that way they can we can restore them fully. And that should be good enough. We don't have to actually dedicate any workers to that. But it took a little bit of gold, and that's fine. So we're going to build a scavenger camp. I don't think that there's anything else I need to dedicate workers towards. I could be, I could eat my words like really hard on that, but we should be good. Not a lot of places to put this camp, but we're going to put it there. It doesn't matter if it gets destroyed, honestly. And then we're going to fully upgrade it. Um, it's a bit of money to do that but I think it'll be worth it. And then we're gonna just like go kind of hard on materials. We're gonna want a ton of traps before I do anything. I, you know, I have to do these things just to make sure I don't forget is we're gonna spend some materials to um, repair our traps. Uh, I, I want to build a wall around our last spell probably just a basic stone wall we don't need anything better than that
it could actually make the difference that could win us the game right there i i, I hope it doesn't but it, it could actually i kind of hope it does no point in building it if it's not useful right um so then what then what do we have to do i mean we could upgrade a couple of these ballistas but i honestly feel like going hard on how many traps can you have you can have as many traps as you want damages the target and surrounding tiles but no friendly fire um the problem with the other traps is they're not area of effect that it honestly really hurts their their usability uh, I think we're going to throw down a teleporter there. And we're certainly going to throw down a teleporter like here. And I think most of our trouble spots, maybe one over here, just in case. No, we've got one over there, don't we? Yeah, there's one right there. I just couldn't see it because the, the mana well was blocking it. Um, I know I'm doing like construction before anything, but I, I, I think it warrants doing. Um, and I kind of want to build, I think we could definitely do with some catapults. I don't know. I, I, I really don't think that the catapults were as, as, as useful as they could have been. Let's put like a catapult or a ballista here. And... Um, for some reason, I feel like this right side here could just do with a little bit more oomph, you know? And that's as many ball uh, ballistas as I can build. That's it. Uh, watchtowers, I, I, I really don't feel like watchtowers are very useful, in my opinion. I guess... You know, maybe, maybe, uh, we could, well, you can only build them in the town, right? If you could build them in the forest, they would actually be worthwhile. But no, did, you know, we've got these like weird restrictions on some of these things. And you know what? I'm going to say it, it doesn't make much sense to not be able to build watchtowers in the forest. Cause that's where you would want watchtowers. Like you would want them in the area where they're going to be the most useful, aren't they? Wouldn't you? I, like, I don't know. Um... Okay, so we have 300 materials to play with. I feel like just traps. I feel like just traps. Let's start with like a couple over there. And maybe a couple over here. A couple over here. Um, I think, I think, um, some over here would be good. And maybe a, a few over here is a, not a terrible idea just to cover our bases, you know? I don't know if all those traps will be useful, but, you know, better to have them and not need them. Um, and I guess since we have one worker left, I just always, I always hesitate throwing a worker at anything because it's like, oh, and then I forgot to do the thing. But let's just throw it at money. 40 more, 40 more do dollars. And uh, then we'll go ahead and look at equipment. Uh, one hand ranged weapon. Poison damage, action points, critical, mana, reliability. Amazing. We will definitely buy that. I don't think anyone right now has like trinkets. So we should go hard on trinkets. Oh, accuracy. Oh, ho, ho. and an action point. There we go. That's for the scepter user right there. Um, spear with poison damage. Eh. There's a better bow here. 
Uh, is that actually worth grabbing? It does a sizable chunk more damage than what they are currently doing. So yes, I think it is worth it. We don't have like any, uh, like we should have like potions and stuff. Potion of energy would be good. Potion of stability would be really nice, but that's only if we're using like the buddy system. Um, the nice thing of potion of health is actually better because it seems to be, oh, you know what? Potion. The nice thing about potion of stability is it has an extra turn on it so it could be that like if you sense you, you're gonna get stunned by one of the bulkies which we haven't really been getting hit by then uh you know did i just sell a longbow i just bought no that's the one right there right okay cool uh, i want to sell all of our stuff because i do want to buy one of these sets of pants maybe what is this critical let's move nah this is more move, more stun chance. That would be really good for um, Scepter user. Yeah, really good for her, actually. More accuracy, more damage, more block. This, I feel like, is a better purchase because um, our... Uh, well, I was going to say our, our spear person could do with a bit of extra oomph. Oomph. Extra protection. Um, yeah, I think that this... Well, and momentum. Yeah, I think that these pants are just, like, very good for her. Um, and then... Uh, we give our hand crossbow... To our... our um, to Thomas. Did we buy anything for them? Not really. We have an extra propagation item. We're going to give that to... Albrick. Less skill range, but more bounces and more damage. And what is that other thing? Oh, more movement, too. So it actually kind of makes up for that skill range. Uh, more action points, more movement points. I tempted to give this to Albrick. But I feel like someone else could make use with it. I actually think we should give that to our hand crossbow person because um well it kind of hurts them for armor but uh the reason being is because then they can actually make use of their reload which i gave to them ages ago um crossbow person you're gonna get potion of stability and i think you're gonna get this uh well actually this accuracy one was meant specifically oh you've already got something Oh, it's that that's hurting your accuracy. That's why you've you've been missing like every other shot. So if I take that off of you, I don't think it would hurt that much. The reliability is kind of nice, and the health and the health regen. But the eh, I actually think that this would just be better. Extra AP. Um, I think that's gonna be better for them. This helmet will definitely go on the crossbow person. Oh, maybe not, actually. Yeah, they've actually got a really good patch. I mean, the, the reliability and isolation is nice, but an extra action point is, is kind of hard to say no to. Um, We will give you... Wait, no, never mind. Who is the one that... Okay, you get a better bow. Maybe you should get this. I know that accuracy hurts, but what's her accuracy is pretty good so i think she can take that hit a little bit easier um and then we can make up for it by giving her these pants that just give her better uh, accuracy and then uh, why not give her isolation it doesn't help her as much but uh and then albrick you get some better pants and a better helmet you've been really like kind of rolling was like not nothing great um and i guess keon you get this these these pants are slightly better getting kind of hand-me-downs but that's fine you don't need you don't need the best because you're just gonna kill everything now we level people up resistance or resistance reduction what do you need are you the one that yeah actually resistance reduction would be very good 
or key on. Um, critical is also very good. Yeah, actually, let's go for that critical. Because uh, they, they, that's going to buff their critical overall. None of this really does much for you. Multi-hits. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think that the, we can make use of that at all. Opportunism is kind of tempting. Well, I should have gone for the opportunism. Well, whatever. Extra experience when it is the least helpful. Legendary Assassin is a great perk to get for the last night. So that's pretty good. Joanna. Extra resistance wouldn't be a terrible thing for you. Resistance reduction is actually really nice too, though. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a resistance reduction. Magic damage, poison damage. I mean, you do do poison damage. You also do po uh, magic damage, so why not take magic damage? Uh, when applying, po applying poison to unit, also apply. Contagion is actually not a terrible thing for her to take. Extra propagation isn't terrible either. Oh, propagation can now bounce diagonally, so that's what that's how that's been doing that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Thomas is going to be a tricky one to level up. Um, okay, extra damn. Wow, you've uh, you've just taken so much damage. You've got sixty plus sixty seven percent damage. Let's go for reliability. That's actually an amazing secondary stat to, to buff after you've you've taken like gotten that extra damage. Fortress Master is tempting, but I honestly feel like maybe Legendary Assassin wouldn't be a terrible take for you. Uh you don't have basically any block. Runic Gift is worthless. Big Game Hunter. Let's take Night Owl for them. Might be a complete waste, but it might also be really good. Okay, Albrick. Well, let's do Patience first. Patience. Extra Dodge. Sure. It's kind of worthless, but we'll take range. Yeah, I'm going to reroll those. I know that was dumb, but the reliability is actually not a bad take for her. Uh, blink. Using this will not increase the momentum bonus. What do you mean vision? Affects vision. The skill doesn't requ require a direct line of sight. Oh, I see. So she can blink to somewhere without having to see it, having line of sight. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, quick reload, maybe? A, a quick reload is actually generally pretty good on the bow because their best attack is uh, Reign of Arrows. Now, Albrick. Albrick, I have great hope for you, maybe. Critical. That's not great. Well, yeah, resistance reduction couldn't hurt. Magic damage couldn't hurt. Well, actually, it could literally hurt more, and that's a good thing, right? When attacking a unit for each negative alteration of a different type they are affected by, the attack gets critical. Temporary effects hindered, hindering the effect unit, debuff, stun, poison contagion. Honestly, I think bully would be really good for them. Specialist is also tempting. The problem is, is that they are the one person that I foresee running out of mana. So giving them more uses, I don't know. Yeah. What's their crit power at? 150. 
Yeah, let's do specialist. I know it's not great, but there's not really a lot. Hex would have been great. It's unfortunate that they, they didn't level up enough in time. It's funny. I mean, I gave them... Uh, oh, right. They weren't getting kills from uh, the, the ballistas. That's, that's why. So the only thing left, uh, I, I think that they're great over here. And I unfortunately, I expect the boss to appear here. Uh, which really sucks because that's where the most stuff is in the way. Kind of just want to keep everything more or less the same. But there's just like so much stuff. Like this, this is completely like vulnerable. I just don't know. I'm expecting the creature to be either a giant wolf or a treant. It'll probably be a wolf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna point to the rafters and say wolf. Um, maybe we swap these around. I think Thomas, Thomas, and. Uh, our crossbow person should be close to this side. Even if it ends up hurting us somewhat, then we could have, I don't know, our scepter person over there. And, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I really don't know. This is going to suck. I won't lie. There's at least I have to like I have to dedicate enough people over here so that they can hit the boss hard because the the quicker we kill the boss the faster the we can you know we can actually live we have a better chance of living um there's plenty of teleporters around so maybe we just like keep these guys semi close to the teleporter did not mean to move that guy. Where were they? I guess over here. Keep let's we'll keep everyone semi close to a teleporter. And um that way we can move people around like after things have spawned and we have a better idea of where we should move people. I wish this bow person had a bit more movement. Scepter person, let's keep them like, I guess, I don't know. They're, I should have moved these teleporters a bit closer, I guess. <sighs> the druid person is just so good over there. So I am actually going to move him here. Which begs the question, who are you going to put to defend this side? I guess the scepter person. It's not good. They're not going to be able to defend it on their own, but like what option do i have like i say if i can if i can kill the boss quickly then it, you know it won't matter even if they die over here it won't matter but like this area here is so opportune for the druid to to use entangle i guess that doesn't matter as much with the boss i don't know this sucks uh I don't have any money left. Otherwise, I would actually wouldn't mind like doing guess who. So, but I guess that's going to do it for this. Uh, I, ex I fully expect us to lose. I know that's it's damper and maybe just like try your best. But like winning on your first attempt is so such a long shot because you really just don't know what to expect and that's the that's the the thing that kills you um but anyway that's gonna do it if you're enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content i'll see you guys next time take it easy